Well, it's all about him. Hello, friends and neighbors. I uh, just wanted to come and talk to you a little bit today with just my camera. Talk to you a little bit today about uh, anxiety and depression. Uh, years ago, anxietist, and uh, uh, you couldn't, I didn't know what it was. I just knew that things weren't running right and weren't running to according to plan that uh, I wanted it to go. And uh, so uh, I was depressed and anxietous. <clears throat> I didn't know I was depressed. I would get easily frustrated and uh, I mean on everything, you know, with, with my family, a car, a, a lawnmower, whatever I was doing, you know, I'd easily get frustrated. And uh, that uh, didn't work out always so good for me. And another thing, I was depressed. I didn't know I was depressed until years later when I was at home by myself. I was sitting in my chair and uh, things got dark, really dark. And I thought about uh, suicide. And that's not easy to say. And uh, I know it's upsetting to a lot of folks, but uh, I was. But as the Lord would have it, my wife walked in just in time and uh, asked me what I was doing. And of course, I, uh, I just said, I'm just sitting here. So that was my saving grace right there. But later on, my wife and I went to counseling. I had already been going to counseling with my wife and uh, talked about things. And uh, she suggested I go to the doctor and talk to the doctor about my anxieties. And uh, the night when I told her that uh, I was having a bad day, it was very, very dark. Then uh, I went to the doctor again and, and got prescribed some medication. Now there for a long time, I was taking an over-the-counter, uh, something I got at the health food store uh, what was the name of that? Uh, uh, Happy Camper is what I was taking. And it did good for me for a long time. And uh, I took it on the weekends. I took it uh, uh, at work and uh, everything was okay. Hunky dory. But uh, there for a lot of years, I can remember not being so much in the groove, you know. Dark days, dark moments. Just uh, a lot of things going on in my life. Yeah, or at least I thought, you know. But everything was running good. My kids turned out great. Uh, my life should have been everything I wanted it to be. And um, I have a really, really great wife. Sticks by me and does everything for me. A lot for me, you know. And I, I help her and she helps me. But she's really a good woman. And my kids turned out great. Uh, they, two of them went to college, got their degrees. Uh, well, actually, all three of them went to college, got their degrees. And they're all uh, either in their own business or working for somebody from home. You know, they were for a long time. And uh, that works out good. My one daughter, she goes in to work every day. Anyway, I heard uh, somebody talking about their darkness and anxiety and depression. Uh, the other day and I really thought you know that maybe I should talk about mine because there's a lot of people out there that are depressed and uh, on drugs or alcohol or whatever you know I did that for years I didn't do drugs but I did alcohol for a long time and that just didn't help you know so I went to the doctor got prescribed a prescription some medicine that I take every day now I'm still you know, have my dark days, and I still feel anxiety uh, a lot of times, sometimes, but it really helps. It helps me a lot. It helps me in uh, my relationships with other people and with my family and my wife and so on and so forth. And uh, it helps me to stay smooth and to stay straight and focused so I can make videos like this for you. I love you guys. And uh, you don't know what it means, the, uh, the uh, followers that I do have, subscribers that I do have. I'd like to have uh, many, many more. 
and uh, but hey, you know it's it's slow and coming. I'm not a fast bird, but anyway, if you're uh, if you have dark days, and uh, what do those dark days look like? They they, they look dark. They uh, you just don't feel right. Uh, you may have anxiety attacks. I remember my first anxiety attack. I thought I was dying. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't catch my breath, I wasn't breathing right, I wasn't feeling good. I felt like I should lay down on the floor or whatever, you know. But I didn't want to do that, and so I just didn't know what to do. But I finally, you know, my mind, my brain, told myself, everything's okay. It's not as bad as it seems. Take a deep breath and relax, and so I did. I sat down in my chair and relaxed. Uh, took a, some breathing exercises and then the next time I had an anxiety attack was uh, several months later but at least I knew what it was and I knew what to do but my main focus of this video is to help you if you're having problems and you're having dark days and you're just not feeling right anxietists yelling at your kids all the time uh, you're only happy with your friends and then you don't think too much of them and things like that then uh, you're having some dark days so I, I just beg you, you know, go go get some help go to the doctor go go to get some therapy go see a counselor or somebody that can help you wife or husband take them to the doctor and just tell them yourself that he or she's just not doing right and not feeling good and I believe he's depressed and uh, they'll get you some medicine and it's not hard or rough it's not shameful it's nothing to be ashamed of you know, or anything like that after all you're going to live another what 30 40 50 60 70 years you know and why go through all that for all that amount of time so anyway that's my uh, video for today love you guys and get some help if you need it and leave comments below if you want to, to talk about something or just let me know how you're doing or how it went for you and uh, maybe I'll make another video about uh, talking about how uh, you've done and, and everything like that but be sure to subscribe like comment uh, depress the like button and then the bell <laughs> but don't get depressed take put it with a smile on your face and press that bell so give yourself a smile today and give yourself somebody else a smile. We'll see you next time.